In this video, we will look into two of the arithmetic instructions, which are addition and subtract. Take an example of 2 plus 4, where 2 and 4 are the first and second variables for addition, while 6 are the results. For ARM assembly language, the opcode for add instruction is ADD. It takes three operands. The first operand is the destination register, where the result will be stored. The second and third operands are the registers that hold both of the value for addition. Take an example of add R0, R1, R2. This can be interpreted as R1 plus R2 and the result stored at R0. Assuming that R1 has 14 in hexadecimal and R2 has 10 in hexadecimal, and therefore 14 plus 10 equals to 24 in hexadecimal. After we executed the instruction, the result of 24 will be stored into R0. In addition, we could also use an immediate value for the third operand. However, please take note that the immediate value for add addition is only 12 bit length, which only from 0 up to 4095. For example of add R3, R1, and immediate value 10. Since the immediate value doesn't come with a prefix 0x, so this means this is a decimal number or is a in hexadecimal. Now let's look at the subtraction instruction. The subtraction instruction is similar to addition except the opcode for subtraction is SUB. Again, the first operand is the destination register. The second and third is the subtraction variables. For example of sub R0, R1, and R2. And finally, the result will be 04 and it will be stored into R0. What if we are subtracting R1 from R2? If we execute the code in a simulator, it will return FF, 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 and FC and store it into register 4. However, the value doesn't mean it is a negative number. In general, a processor doesn't care the value if it is positive or negative. It is our job to interpret the result of operation correctly. Please take note that these are the limit of the maximum numbers a 32-bit register can hold.
So if we add 4 to R4 now, we will get back the value of 0. The current program status register or CPSR in the ARM processor contains several flags that holds the status of this event, but we will cover that in future videos. Let's do an exercise to practice the load store and arithmetic instruction we have learned today. Consider you need to add two values from the memory where the address is 8000 and 8004. Then store the result back to the memory at location 9000. We will start by initiating R0 as the address pointer to the 8000 so that we can use this to load the value from 8000 into a register like R1 for instance. Next, we can add 4 to register 0 to change the value from 8000 to 8004. This will allow us to load the second value from the address 8004 by using R0 again as the address pointer. Once both values are moved to the register, we can have the add instruction to do a summation for R1 and R2 and lastly, store the result back to R3. In order to store the result back to the memory, we will first load the value 9000 to R0. And finally, use the store instruction to move the value from R3 back to the memory where the address is given by R0. Of course, this is one of the solutions for the exercise. You can try to figure out another version that might achieve the same operation. And this concludes the videos today, and I will see you in future videos.